What's going on everybody back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 NFL players for 2023 with the new NFL top 100 coming out. I just wanted to get my opinions on it. A lot of people said it was it sucked this year. In my opinion, there were a lot of guys really low that easily could have been higher, but it was voted by the players. So who are we to judge? You know what I mean? Um, start off, we got Kel Travis Kelsey. Um, had the best season of his career, another Super Bowl champ, one of the best tight ends ever. Obviously, he's going to be on here. Pretty sure he, no, I think, yeah, I think he was tied for the lead league in receiving touchdowns. If I'm thinking right, I'm not sure. He did have that one game, I forgot versus who, but he had that four touchdown game, four receiving touchdowns. It was nuts. But he doesn't really crack the top ten for me. But obviously still, all these um, these honorable mentions, obviously they're all still really good players. But they just don't crack the top ten. Nick Bosa, defensive player of the year last year. Um, You know, 18 and a half sacks. He led the league in sacks. That was his career high. I'm sure one of these years for crack 20. You know, he's he's been going nuts. The technique is great. The speed off the edge is great. Um, every quarterback fears him in the league. Nick Bosa um, just doesn't crack top ten. Jason Kelsey had a had another Super Bowl. Not su he didn't win the Super Bowl. But took his team to the Super Bowl once again, like twenty seventeen. Best center in the league. He's been the one of the best centers in the league for five six years. Really underrated player. Um, fan favorite guy. And it's nice to see that we got uh, two brothers, which is cool. In my video, you, you don't really see that too often. Usually, you just see, like, father and son. But, you know, Jason Kelsey, powerful, really powerful player, like, very charismatic player. And then Joe Burrow, you know, he's in my um, he's in my top four quarterback rankings. Him, Mahomes, Allen, Hurts, Josh Allen. Um, I feel like Jalen Hurts is – well, here, I'll talk about that in his slide. But Burrow, you know, I, I got him winning MVP next year. But he doesn't. But he doesn't really crack the top ten for me. And then Max Crosby. You might be thinking, oh, Max Crosby, dude. I feel like he's one of the most underappreciated defensive players in the league. I can easily see him winning a defensive player of the year in his career. Led the league in tackles for loss with twenty two or twenty one. Um, people don't realize that teams have to scheme their offensive games against the Raiders around Crosby because he could just destroy a game. Just like Nick Bosa, that he could destroy a game. I think he's really underappreciated because his sack count isn't really there. You know what I mean? But his value to the defense is there, the leader of the Raiders' defense. Now with number 10, we got Josh Allen, top four quarterback in the league, argue second best, argue third best, you know, um, captain of the Bills. I could see him... When I could see him bringing his team to a Super Bowl. But he had another great year. 4,200 yards, 35 t touchdowns, 7 rushing, 700 yards. Great player all around. It's going to be it's it's going to be him, Mahomes. Just like I said, Hurts, Mahomes, Burrow, and Josh Allen competing for the best quarterback in the league spot for, like, next 8 to 10 years. And he just makes it into the top 10 for me. You know, um... Really athletic, able to run, good in the pocket, and super strong arm and accurate. Now we got Hurts. Hurts, to me, I mean, he's not, you could say he was not, like, people hate on him. He was, what, 8-0, 9-0. He brought his team to the Super Bowl. He can, he's, because he's, like, more of, like, a rushing, not really more of a rush, rushing quarterback, but people underappreciate his arm a lot. He's a very accurate passer. He had two Pro Bowl I think Devon no Devonta Smith didn't make the Pro Bowl, but he had two receivers with over a thousand yards. AJ Brown had the best season of his career. He's All Pro second team Pro Bowler last year. Um, I think he's really underappreciated, and I think he had a really good season last year, and he's just gonna keep getting better. I don't think this Eagle. I don't think this year was just like a fluke year. We a we got Sauce. Nuts, nuts. What he does, rookie. Argue, you could argue PS2, but in my opinion, he's the best corner in the league right now. He led the league in pass breakups. Um, first team All-Pro as a rookie. He's going to be, him and Sertain are going to be like, you know, cornerback one, A1, A, 
or your 1A, 1B for the next, what, 10 years? You never know. I mean, cornerbacks, maybe the next, like, five to eight years. You know, I was the corners, like, sometime, like, they'll have, like, a three-season stretch where they're, like, fine, and then, like, a three-season all-pro best corner in the league stretch for some reason. Um, yeah, but Sauce smothers dudes, doesn't let dudes get open. Pretty sure he let up one touchdown all year because everyone went nuts about it. Like, oh, Sauce let up a touchdown. Yeah, but I got him at eight. Um, you know, if you like Nick Bosa over Sauce, I just think Sauce is more like valuable to his team, and he has more of an impact, like on the games and the team. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, he lines up against wide receiver twos. Every like video I see of him, he's lining up against the wide receiver one. Like I don't understand. That's besides the point. A, we got Sauce. He's one of the best in the league. Seven, we got Chris Jones. Chris Jones is when has been one of the most underrated players in the league for a long time now. He put up, like, one of the best seasons. Well, because I've only been watching football since, like, 2018, 2019. Like, besides Aaron Donald, he had one of the best seasons as a defensive tackle that I've ever seen. 15 and a, 15 and a half sacks, 17 tackles for loss, first team all pro. This season, like... I'm not saying obviously he's not better than Aaron Donald, but this season he had a he was the best defensive tackle in the league. Like I'm like obviously Aaron Donald's better, but I'm saying like season wise, Chris Jones had a better season. Really underappreciated, captain of the Chiefs defense. Without him, the Chiefs wouldn't have won the Super Bowl. Um, you know, just really big dude, six six, three hundred. Um, just like the anchor of the defense. And I think he deserves a top ten spot this year, definitely. Six, we got Lane Johnson. You might think this is high. In my opinion, it's not. Lane Johnson, once again, like Chris Jones, once again, like Max Crosby, probably the most underappreciated, one of the most underappreciated players in the league. Um, him and Trent, Trent Williams, best left tackle. Lane Johnson, best right tackle. Um, the reason that Lane Johnson edges over Trent Williams is because he had, like, that Super Bowl, like, the Eagles beat the 49. Like, they had, like, that Super he, um. He has, like, the Super Bowl, going to the Super Bowl on his belt. And he didn't let up a sack. If you watched, Nick Bosa didn't get a pressure, didn't get a sack. And that's the defensive player of the year right there. So, I understand we don't see Trent Williams or Bosa, but Lane Johnson's, like, pretty, not, like, old, but he's, like, in, he's reaching his, you know, later seasons. And he's still able to do that. He's still able to be the best right tackle in the league. I would, I he deserves a top ten spot this year. He's a Pro Bowl or first team All Pro. It's insane to me that he was only in twenty eighteen when he was the best right tackle in the league. When he he was on a Super Bowl winning offensive line, and he was ninety fifth. I just think offense like I just think offensive linemen get underappreciated by a lot. Um, and I think Lane Johnson deserves it this this year. Five, we got Derrick Henry, the best running back of our generation, the best running back since Adrian Peterson. I get that Josh Jacobs had a better season than him, but Derrick Henry, you know, Derrick Henry is Derrick Henry. 6'3", 250. He's not like 230. He's like 250, dude. You know, offense, former offensive player of the year. He won the Pro Bowler this year. In any season, this would be like a like first-team all-pro season, but Josh Jacobs just went off. You know, he went nuts. Um, Derrick Henry, best player on the Titans. Um, I mean, what else can you say about this guy? It's Derrick Henry. That's all I have to say. Best running back I've ever seen play. Alabama, best running back I've ever seen. I, he was better than Bijan in college. I'm going to say it right now. I get that Bijan's is generational talent better than Bijan in college. Heisman winner. Yeah, but it's Derrick Henry. You know how it is. I think he's. I think he gets that um, top five spot. Before we got Micah Parsons. Listen, Micah Parsons is the best defensive player in the league. Um, he is the next Lawrence Taylor, dude. I don't care what you say. He's the next Lawrence Taylor. The mo- one of the most athletic players I've ever seen as a um, defensive player. The two seasons in his career, he was second in defensive play of the year voting. I wouldn't be surprised if he's like J.J. Watt, Aaron Donald. He wins like two or three defensive play of the years in his career. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he was like second or third in MVP voting one year. If he freaking won the whole MVP trophy, I wouldn't be surprised at all. He's the best defensive player in our league right now. I don't care what you say. And it's his second year. He's going to be one of the best ever. Micah Parsons is going to be one of the best ever. I've been watching this dude since college. He's going to be one of the best ever. And I think he deserves the fourth best in the league, a top five spot. Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill went nuts. It's Tyree Kill. He went nuts. Had the best season of his career. I don't know if you were if everyone was following it that much, but he was on pace up until like for like eight or ten weeks. He was on pace for two thousand yards. I thought he was gonna eclipse it. I thought he was gonna eclipse two K yards and break history. But something must have happened. He didn't get hurt or anything, but I guess he just slowed down. Maybe teams figured out what was going on later in the season, like the schemes and everything and the offensive plays, but Terry Kilders deserves number three. He was the best receiver in the league behind Justin Jefferson for half the season. He had one of the best seasons I've seen. He had the, one of the best seasons as a receiver since I've seen since like 2015, 2016 Julio and AB when they had 1,800 yards apiece. That was nuts. Yeah, but the, like Tyree Kill, Justin Jefferson's next. Like Tyree Kill and Jefferson, I think they. I can't remember if that was like 2015 or 2016. They both had 1,800 yard seasons. That's just like this. It's like Tyree Kill, Justin Jefferson. Um, every week, who's gonna get more yards? Yeah, and Tyree Kill best. I think he deserves number three right now. Two, we got JJ best receiver in the league. He's one to be. He's gonna be one of the greats. Um. Best offensive player of the year. I'm a, I can see him winning offensive player of the year again. He's going to be one of the greats. Not saying he's going to eclipse Jerry Rice or Moss, but he's going to be one of the greats. Going to be one of the best receivers that we've ever seen. I'm lu- I'm lucky that I get to watch him like in his the beginning of his career, but in his third season he wins offensive player of the year. He has 1,800 yards, which is I think that's top five of all time. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's, wait, Megatron, Jerry Rice, Julio, AB, Justin Jefferson might be fifth. I might be forgetting about somebody, but offensive player of the year season, best receiver in football. I got to give him the number two spot, just like the players voted. Obviously, we all know one, we all know who number one is, Pat Mahomes, another MVP, another Super Bowl champ, best quarterback in the league. Passed Tom Brady passed the torch to him. Not really. Tom Brady beat him, but it was basically like a passing of the torch. Um, he's we're gonna see him be number one again. Best player in the league by not by far, but you know, it's Pat Mahomes. It's like saying Tom Brady. I mean, yeah, but in the comments, let me know if you agree or disagree. Hoping you enjoyed the video. If there's somebody I missed or somebody's too high low, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see everybody in the next video.